My name is Laurence Lemieux. I am the artistic director of Citadel and Company, and I'm also uh, the choreographer uh, for the evening of In Time with the Toronto Mendelssohn Choir. In 2021, I was asked, uh, I was commissioned by the Toronto Mendelssohn Choir to create a new work. Uh, that was during the pandemic, so it was, I created a solo that was recorded in our studios and it was um, also recorded elsewhere. The sound, the music was recorded elsewhere. And the piece is Symphonia and it's done to uh, this beautiful Bach uh, cantata. Um, about six months ago, the choir approached me again to create another work to the Dixie Dominus by Handel, uh, which is a monumental work, a monumental piece of music. I hesitated a little bit um, because I wasn't that familiar with the piece of music, although I'm very familiar with Handel, obviously. And, um, and it just seemed overwhelming. <laughs> There's so much music. Um, but there's something very joyous, uh, powerful, and so I decided that yes, I would create a new work uh, to the Dixie Dominus, and I'm using a cast of six uh, women, and uh, it's a work that is a bit lighter than the cantata, that the themes are more about resilience and strength and the power of women. And then the other work is a little more about um, loss, uh, which made sense when we created the work because it was during the pandemic. So I think the balance of the program will bring uh, a, bit of, a bit of dark, which is always important, but also a little bit of joy. It is a really beautifully challenging exercise as a choreographer to create to this piece of music. For a person who hasn't seen a lot of contemporary dance, I think often I was, I'm asked the question, what does it mean? Or I have a hard time understanding it because I don't know what, what the gestures are supposed to mean. And I think that it's definitely not like a story ballet where there's, a, there's characters and a story, a linear story that you can follow. But for the program that we're doing, um, my starting point is very much the music. So it's almost like adding another voice to the music, adding another uh, instrument to the music. And this instrument just happens to be a live dancer on stage. So the way that I work is that what is there left to say? Because these are extraordinary pieces of music. But the, the human experience of a body moving adds a layer that would not be able to be expressed with the music. So um, I feel that, like, for example, the cantata, like, um, is about the, the, the pain, the loss of, you know, the Virgin Mary losing the Christ. And, but that is, you can just think about the actual pain of loss, which is universal. It doesn't have to be so specific, like not such a precise story. And with the handle, it's more about the power, the joy, the, the sort of celebration of one another, uh, the fact that we can be together now, the fact that I, women are extraordinary. That's why I decided to, to just have women on stage in the different ages. So I chose a cast that's from the youngest is nine years old and the oldest is in her 50s. So like you have a kind of like a range of uh, a story of a woman uh, throughout different parts of her life. And I felt like that music was, was asking me to do this, uh, but it's not a, a story that starts with a beginning and an end. It's more about adding texture to this, uh, to the music and using the actual score to create movement. So we, we work with the music on the music, sometimes against the music, but it's always in relationship to what the music does. So you don't need to be an expert in dance to understand dance. I think a lot of people are scared of dance, but they should not be scared. It's as simple as looking at a painting on the wall, liking it or not liking it. You don't need to be a painter to appreciate a painting. It's the same with dance. You don't need to be a dancer. You could just appreciate a human moving through space and time on the music. <laughs>